Hi guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. Look at this. This is beautiful, isn't it? You can just sit here, take in the sun, deep breaths. It's so peaceful and tranquil. We're out today, we're going mudlarking for river treasure. We've been in a river the day, found nothing. And that's sometimes the way it goes when you go for your diving adventure. Sometimes you don't find anything, sometimes you do. So I thought I'd come back here, do the embankments and walk along the beach and see if anything else has come out of the embankments. That is just a beautiful sunset. It's starting to come down now, it's about 7 o'clock, but beautiful. I just love coming out here. It's nice to come out and just sit a little bit of peace and quiet. It's beautiful. So we're going to head off pretty shortly and see what we can find and I'll get back to you guys at the first tip. Here we go, first find I've found walking along the beach is a Camp Coffee, Glasgow, Patterson's. It's quite a, a common coffee bottle for these embankments in here. But yeah, just walking along the beach and that's the first thing I've found. that's come out of the embankments. Somebody's been tanning all the embankments, but yeah, don't worry. Whatever they throw out and miss, I'll always get it on the beach when the high tide comes. Well, I think this is a GNC moor, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is, it's a GNC moor. It's uh, York Street, I don't know if that's Edinburgh or Glasgow or I don't know if it's a Charles Moor, if it's a Charles Moor, I don't know what it is Yeah, it could be a Charles Moor, York Street, Glasgow Beautiful little stopper I've just found there, a bottle inward screw Nice Well check this out, I found a bit of a decorated plate Just lying on the beach <laughs> Something else looks like mountains or leaf design some lovely colours going on there, I do like that little pink flower and stuff yeah, beautiful, it's smashed mind you there's no hall markings on it but I've spotted something else that's just lying on the beach as well I've picked it up and I thought to myself, what the heck's that? and it's either a person or a man or a cat or something, I don't know no, it's definitely a person, it's meant to be a person if anybody can tell me what that was I'd appreciate that because I don't know It'd be nice to find out what it was. I found some fragments of pottery. That looks like it's all came from the same thing. That's a milk jug, definitely. You can see the birds on it. I just thought I would show that because it had two pictorial birds on it. But yeah, very pictorial. Looks like it's for all my, a milk jug or something like that. And that's a bit of a plate. Yeah, number 10 it says on it. If I've got something on the bottom, you may be able to ID them. But yeah, it's just some lovely bits of pottery. Well, I've been out on the beach again, another couple of finds, a smashed clay pipe. We'll leave that out there for somebody to pick up if they want it. But yeah, there you go. Love a little clay pipe. we got another bottle stopper. McEwen's, that's a McEwen's export. And that would have been 1930s, it's an inward screw bottle again. Off a of beer. It's a beer I've had them from here, this I don't know. I think it's an old door handle, if you know what it is. Let us know. I think it's an old door handle. <laughs> How these things make it down to the beach, I'll never know. Essence Coffee with Chicory. Where was that? T and H Smiths. Edinburgh. Still gets original coffee in it, you can see that, can't you? That's original coffee in that. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. Well, I've been out here. First find I've found, and I've used the detector for this. It's a little lead soldier. Let's turn away from the don't want to get too close because there's lots of sand lice jumping around so yeah there we go a little lead soldiers come out you can see all the sand lice just jumping about there's some clay pipes as well they're all blanders which is a shame sometimes you get a wee bit of writing on them this one's got something mm, don't know hard to read well gone but yeah three little clay pipes and a lead soldier very nice there we go, I found the neck of a cod that says curries on it. Maybe in a big ale, it's like a 10 ounce as well. A nice big cod. And I also found this scraping in the embankment there. A nice AG bar, Glasgow, inward screw bottle. Of course that's not one I take, it's quite common, so we'll leave that here for somebody else in case they want it. Walking along, digging into the embankments there, and there you go. Look at that, that is a lovely big jam pot. Again, I'll leave that out in the beach in case anybody wants it. Because people do come along here in Mudlark, so if they want it, they can come and get it. There you go. 
Well, I've been digging into that embankment for a wee bit, and there you go, beautiful, hey, <laughs> big Lysol bottles come out, look at that, not to be taken, ribbed Lysol bottle, oh, I've found quite a lot of these recently, quite a common uh, thing in 1930s and 40s tips, as a, a Lysol bottle, so yeah, here you go, big Lysol bottle fresh out of the embankment tip, woohoo! Well that's just popped out, big neck of a, an old vase or something like that. It's got a lovely colour to it, hasn't it? Look at that. Some lovely colour and design on it. Even though it's a bit old. It's probably about early 1930s that. Well the next bottle out of there is a Fellows & Co. Chemist St John's MB. We have dug a lot of these out over the last couple of weeks. But yeah, here you go. Another Fellows uh, Chemist. Quite a... A common bottle as well, you see quite a lot of them through in Edinburgh and the tips there. Well I've just dug this out of the embankment again, applied top. It's a sauce bottle, a relish, look at that, you can see it around the bottle. It says relish on it, yeah, just a lovely little sauce or relish bottle. Codal Backhouse and Co, quite common, in fact really common. Well there you go, there's a couple of pipes out, these ones are maybe a wee bit older. And this one, this one sits straight upright if you look, and this one slightly goes back. So this one's got a bit more age to it, maybe 1800s. The really the 1700s one that generally a bit slimmer than that, but yeah, that's the same as well. That's another Victorian pipe there. Two Victorian pipes, and that one's a little 1900s one. So yeah, those two are older than this one. Then I'm digging into the embankment and I've pulled this out. Look at that, it's a cat, isn't it? Is that not a cat? It looks like a cat's face, it looks like it's got an eye and a nose. That looks like an animal of some sort. Is it a cat? <laughs> I love stuff like that, it's pretty cool. I love the ornamental designs from uh, back in the day that people had in their mantelpiece. But yeah, there you go. Looks like a little cat. Well there we go, look at that, a little decorated egg cup has come out. After digging into an embankment for a wee bit. I don't know if that's meant to be flowers or not, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> It is a little decorated egg cup. More silly little things have come out of that. But that looks like a lens, I think, out of a pair of glasses. And that's a lovely flower decorated plate. There we go, another couple of clay pipes for the embankment. It's a crusty one. Nice orange one. Orange ones are always in a layer of burning. And um, we've got a pipe. This is T. McLachlan, which must have been really popular here. T. McLachlan and Glasgow on it. Very popular pipe. Well, I just seem to be getting pipes out of this part, like they're going out of fashion. And uh, yeah, here you go. There's another two lovely blank clay pipes. Well, yeah, I just seem to be hitting an obscene amount of clay pipes, so yeah. There you go, look at that, another three clay pipes. So, yeah, on that note guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. Good luck, happy hunting. And I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of the sun. It'd be rude not to have a beer, it's a bank holiday. So yeah, we're off to have some fun in the sun. Good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you on the roundup. Big bit of flint. Can you see it? Toffee flint. Look at that man, that's toffee flint. Just walking along the beach and there you go, look at that, a big bit of flint. Beautiful, hey hey, I love this beach. If you know what you're looking for, you can find flint. And there you go, a lovely big piece of toffee flint. Look at that, up in the sun. Could have been Roman, you know, there's a lost Roman pier down here. Romans were here. Nobody knows where, they reckon there was several causeways up towards the Erskine Bridge. One over there, St Patrick's Stone, <laughs> steeped in history, I'll not go into it. Castle for the 15th century. Tell me there's no history about here, I'll chuck it. Loads of history, it's just finding it. I love that, I love finding that flint, it's beautiful. I always remember this when you're out mudlacking. It's not about the finds, it's just about going out having fun. And it's not easy. I'm walking about, I'm picking up pipes. I found another two pipes. They're not too great. They've come out of the embankment. You can see the crust on them. If 
But yeah, there you go, look at that, another two clay pipes. Quite a lot of this is burnt along here. Uh, that there was of course for an invasion in World War II. They were going to shoot at the Germans if they planned to do a shore invasion because this is one of the places that they would have done a shore invasion. So yeah, steeped in World War II history along here. And uh, yeah, just further along past the island bit there. Somewhere out there or in there, there was two Bronze Age swords pulled out the Clyde. There's uh, an abundance of stuff being pulled out the Clyde down here. And yeah, a lot of people don't realise once I actually come out of it. If you look back at your old maps and things like that, you'll see some of the stuff that's come out of here is unbelievable. I'm going to do my round up here because I'm not taking a lot of this stuff home with me. It's smashed. If you know what it is, let me know. It'd be interesting to find out what it is. We'll leave that behind. An obscene amount of clay pipes, as always. You find hundreds of them in Victorian tips. And that is one of the most common finds you find in a Victorian tip. Taking the Lysol bottle with me, that's definitely coming home with me. So not to be taking Lysol bottle. Uh, I'll take my pipes as well. Edinburgh, Glasgow, coffee. I'll take, I always take my stoppers because sometimes people want some for a bottle they've found and they don't have a stopper and we've found it. But yeah. That's about it for the roundup. So, on that note, guys, good luck, happy hunting. Please like and subscribe and uh, leave a little comment. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.